Now, let's all look at a different piece of information. Because of this, make sure you watch it all the way through. This essay will look at a number of similar topics, such as synthetics, the AMC payout schedule, the short seller scheme, and more. Keep an eye on this TR forever and ever. The way long sellers work is like this. One person can get 100 shares from a broker, and then they can sell them for less if they want to. People who sell short on the market lose money, which causes their businesses to fail. This will lead to two possibilities. If a company files for bankruptcy, the person who sold the shorted shares is eligible to get their money back. Furthermore, since they are not required to give out any shares, they keep all the money they make. A lot of thought has gone into this subject. Essentially, there is only one out for the shorts, and that is bankruptcy for AMC. And again, we've talked about this because AMC short sellers cannot pay back all the billions of synthetics they have created. The only way they can actually do this is if AM were to go bankrupt no longer on the stock market, then they, they have to return the billions of synthetics that they have created and therefore they have made profit. And so in this case, this is exactly what we're looking at here. And again, is while we're talking about raising money, the longevity of AMC is extremely important because all means one thing AMC needs to stay alive for the MOAS for the squeeze plate to still be alive, and if AMC were to go bankrupt, then the short sellers will win because there is no way that 99% of the retail investors will sell their AMC shares, so there is no other way for the shorts to get their hands on shares other than if the company were to go bankrupt and they don't have to return the shares and so you can see again. Why get more money? Why work on your basics again? Improving your money situation working on the longevity of your company is extremely important because if AMC were to be self-efficient, meaning that they are again raising money on being able with their revenues with their operations, then obviously they don't need to raise money anymore and they can still continue on surviving and what we've talked about is the shorts are already in display. They have to continuously make synthetics every single day, every single week, every single month, every single year to make sure that the AMC price doesn't explode to make sure that they don't have to cover, but what we've talked about is as long as AMC doesn't go bankrupt, then again, they have to continuously doing this and it will cost them a ton of money and we're talking potentially millions of dollars every single day. Going to billions of dollars every single week, every single month at CC, and that's what will cause them to either first the hedge funds go bankrupt first and then the shares explode and they have to cover the shares or they see that it's no longer sufficient for them to be paying all this money for. The synthetics, and again, maybe it becomes too big of a risk to regulations and regulations forces these hedge funds to be uncovering. And so there is multiple ways, and that's why understanding that bankruptcy means game over fast is very important for any investors to realize what it's happening. With AMC further on, we can take a look at this, so yesterday's video. We talked about dividends, and this goes over the steps that are taken when a dividend is declared. The things that AMC will do after its debts are cleared are listed below in terms of choosing gifts, the agreement tells the group what to do. The record dates and payment dates for the dividend distribution are set by the boarding approval and release process. When looked at more closely, it's clear that Biotech has given a complete schedule for each step. The first step doesn't take long, so the release is quick. After that, the next step takes between one and three months. After this, it takes about a week for the board to make the statement. After that, there needs to be 10 to two weeks between the record date and the payment date. Finally, the process of delivery takes place a few days to a few weeks after the payment date. Based on this, if things go very well, it seems reasonable to think that you could get a reward as early as June of this year. It is important to keep in mind that what follows assumes the best possible result, when everything goes as planned. Everyone agrees that there has never been an event in history that was so perfect. But the point of this sentence is to draw attention to the possible dates that would go with the best case situation. If these events make us think that the desired result is about to happen, we look into them. Examples of these situations include times when AMC makes money or settles bills. When we learn that AMC might be giving out payments, we see that the money will be given out after a certain amount of time. AMC has also seen a number of important changes because people are looking forward to a reward. There will probably be more people buying, which could cause some short sellers to leave when they learn about the effects of bonus payments and other things. So it is very important that we pay attention to this issue. Now let's talk about something that none of you seem to be paying attention to. Adam Ahrens, part owner of 76 Hours Basketball Team, former CEO of the Norwegian Cruise Line in the 90s and former CEO of V Resorts, which is still a huge hotel change that still operate till this day. Now the reason why I mention this is because I want to talk about, you know, the decisions that has been made by the AMC, by Adam Aaron, by the management team. Now, firstly, what we take a look at is obviously the history of Adam Aaron, who obviously are, have been CEO in two various companies, one that still operates to this day. So the reason why I talk about this, because this gives us two things first. 
is the experience. An ability to operate as a CEO for Adam Aaron, and we've seen this in the resume as we can see with this two company, but also understand that the longevity here, the ability to operate the longevity of a company, because again, the results, which is, is a still huge hotel chain, they still operate till. This day and that longevity is what we need because again, going back to this, we need to make sure that AMC doesn't go bankrupt. It doesn't matter when AMC squeezes. What matters is that AMC is still in the game. What matters is that AMC isn't bankrupt and is still listed on the market as long as that. Happens there will be a date. We don't know when, but there will be a date when the moise, when the squeeze happens, and that's what we need, the longevity of AMC. And we've seen that Adam Iron has had the experience of obviously being able to um, elongate the lifeline of a company, the ability to lobby the young company to obviously stay on for a long period of time. And so that's exactly what we need. And we've also talked about this in terms of the abilities, understanding that he has the ability to prevent bankruptcy for AMC and also the ability to um, accelerate and bring on the process of AMC issuing out a dividend, which is exactly what we need so you can. See, there is multiple benefits of having Adam Aon as the CEO in terms of what he's doing now. Again, I'm curious to hear what your opinion on him, him, him is now. Furthermore, what we can see is this and how we can see the synthetics being revealed for those wondering how AMC fits in with this postcat. Transparency is going exposed to crime perpetrated against AMC and many other stocks. What we can see is this. So this is when we see the reverse repo charts going crazy. And this is when also it refers to the synthetics being created because they need the reverse repo to back up the synthetics. And what we can see is this, the Mimist era when it started retail captures the entire AMC share flow and then several billions AMC synthetics created shares sold, not yet purchased. So you can see with this timeline, just truly at its peak, how many physics were created and bear in mind just because. The reverse repo going down doesn't mean that the synthetics have decreased. What we have to take a look at is the AMC price, which has obviously decreased throughout the time again. Going back to this, it means that the margin which is required has obviously decreased TRTR Eichley, so they don't need the um, reverse report as much anymore, but also understanding is that the reverse report is also reduced in terms of liquidity. So again, it means that they have less money to access to as well. So we can see how all of this benefits us. But when the CAT system is fully implemented in May, what we can understand and what we can see is all of the synthetics that was created during this period of time. And again, still is till this very moment, what we can see is understanding the full transparency, see the full clarity of how many. Indetics are truly made in this market, and again, this is why firms like hedge firms like Citadel and firms like um, other short sellers are extremely opposed against the implementations of the CAT system because they understand that with the CAT system being impl implemented, it restricts them heavily and how they can make money with all the illegal ways they have done in the past. Wherever it's some um, suppressing the price, wherever it's fake marking orders, whether it's just pricing or stocks, where they think it should be priced to benefit them, all of these things will get prevented and will get stopped and that's what will benefit us in the future. The market, what we can also see is remember Fidelity's comment to sec the change to make short-term loans more clear. We've already talked about how to make short lending more open and honest, but this worry is about the fact that short lending data is missing from the AMC. The info I use is all over the place because they messed it up a lot. Nowadays, everyone knows that there is a lot of information available, but it's not completely clear or open. We can keep an eye on this happening thanks to the CAT system.